Lorenzen now is in the lineup for Tom Davis. Also, Bill Jones checks into the lineup. Mac, before the ball game, we talked about the conversion game and how important it was in this ball game today. Just exactly what is a conversion game for folks who might not understand the term? Conversion is going off a half court offense back to defense or from your defense to your offense. And it has been critical. Bob Knight has told me that his team needs to convert back from their offensive position to get back on defense, not give Iowa the numerical advantage. He felt if Indiana gets outnumbered, they're in trouble. Look at Smart get up on that jumper. He's the typical underachiever. In high school, he was only 5'3", till his senior year, grew to 5'7". Then he broke his arm, only played three ball games, went to a junior college, Garden City, twice all league, and now he's starting for Bobby Knight at Indiana. Tremendous leaper, over 40-inch vertical jump. Moe throws up a three-pointer. It's short. Lorenzen with the rebound. Has it stolen. Tapped out of bounds, though, by Alford. It'll still be Iowa's ball underneath. On that exchange offensively, it looks like Alford is following the wing player, Jones, across, while Smart stays in the middle chasing the ball. Bill Jones, Jeff Moe, new guard tandem in for the Hawkeyes. Shows you how deep Tom Davis can go. He's played as many as 11 players in a tight ball game this year. Jones in a trap. Mo in a crowd puts it up. Gets his own rebound. Again. Four and points for Jeff Mo. And the offensive rebounding by the Iowa Hawkeyes again remains a great offensive weapon. And Jeff Mo goes 6'1, 6'2. He's not the best rebounder. Bill Jones on the break. That time. Now we see the full court pressure. Two on one, Alford to Garrett, baseline. Good soft touch by Garrett. I was surprised Alford didn't pull up for that jump shot out there at 15. 15-7, eight point lead for the Hawkeyes. Just under 14 minutes left to play here in Iowa City. Jeff Moe, again, look at him fight for the rebound inside. It's Smart that comes up with it. Bill Jones, the low man back, and Jones fouls Key Smart. Mo penetrating, pushing it in there to the paint just a little too far. But he has created a lot of offensive activity off the boards. Ed Horton, B.J. Armstrong, check back into the lineup now for the Hawkeyes. That was the first personal foul on Bill Jones. Third team foul against the Hawkeyes, as you see Bobby Knight talking it over with... Keith Smart. Joe Hillman, a 6'2 junior from Glendale, California, red shirt last year, is into the ball game. That's him with the basketball, number 44. He's not a creative point guard in the sense of penetrating and driving, but he is smart. Callaway pulls up baseline. Knocked away by Armstrong. The ball still loose. Garrett comes up with it. Three-pointer by Alford, like clockwork. He's shooting 58% from three-point range. In fact, he is shooting better from outside the three-point arc than inside. Only 49% inside three-point range. And if you even take that a step further, in Big Ten games, he is over 70% from that free throw arc from the three-point range. As a team, the Hoosiers. The best in the nation from outside that three-point arc. The Hawkeyes, one of the poor teams in, in the nation. In fact, last in the Big Ten, shooting only 29% from outside three-point range. Todd Meyer now is in the ballgame for Indiana. Meyer has really been a bit of a disappointment for the Indiana team this year. Nobody picks up Callaway. Wide open jump shot baseline, and Indiana has pulled within three. Sometimes that's a problem, going full court pressure man-to-man. -man. You lose track of where he is when you have to go back to the quarter court man-to-man. -man. That's what happened there with Callaway. Well, Iowa has been called one of the deepest teams, if not the deepest teams in the country, but it's Indiana also with a very deep bench. Evident here, Bobby Knight has already gone to seven, eight players. 
kick basketball. It'll still be Indiana's ball. I thought Iowa would go maybe more inside early in the game, really try and let Horton, Marble, and Gamble do some posting up. Indiana is not a strong physical team. Callaway slender, Garrett is a slender shot blocker, just not extremely physical. So far, Iowa's bench has outscored Indiana 6-0. We'll check that stat as we go on further into the ball game. Two on two break. Alford pulls back out on top. Alford shakes loose for another three-pointer. This one won't go. Marble. Roy Marble trying to create, almost throws it away. Eddie Horton comes up. That'll be goaltending. Dean Garrett got that one as it was obviously on the way down. Six points now for Roy Marble. The Iowa lead is five, 17-12. To give that basket to Eddie Horton. The Iowa Six. Temple was certainly uh, in their favor that time, but they just had a two on three. It was not a man advantage. Marble did have to create, almost lost the ball on the dribble. The pressure by Iowa and the steal by Armstrong. And Armstrong travels. Turnovers were a problem for the Hawkeyes against Purdue. 18 first half turnovers, 30 in a ball game for the Hawkeyes, and yet they were still able to beat the Boilermakers on the road. Right now we have 12 minutes left to play. The Hawkeyes have a five-point lead, 17-12.